going to put this in the trash. Great Scott! McFly, Jennifer Jane Parker, 3793 Oakhurst Street, Hildell, age 47. 47? That's a hell of a good facelift. What the hell are they doing, Doc? They used her thumbprint to assess her ID. Since her thumbprint never changes over the years, they simply assume she's the Jennifer of the future. Well, oh, we gotta stop them. What are we gonna say? That we're time travelers, they have us committed. She's clean. That means we take her home. Home? To Hildell? It'll be dark by the time we get out there. They're taking her home to your future home. We'll arrive shortly thereafter, get her out of there, and go back to 1985. You mean I'm gonna see where I live? I'm gonna see myself as an old man? No, 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 Marty. That could result in it. <gasps> Great Scott! Jennifer could conceivably encounter her future self. The consequences of that could be disastrous. Doc, what do you mean? I foresee two possibilities. One, coming face to face with herself 30 years older would put her into shock and she'd simply pass out. Or two, the encounter could create a time paradox, the results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe. <sighs> Granted, that's a worst-case scenario. The destruction might, in fact, be very localized, limited to merely our own galaxy. Well, that's a relief. Let's go. I sure hope we find Jennifer before she finds herself. The Skyway is jammed. It's going to take us forever to get there. And this stays here. I didn't invent the time machine to win at gambling. I invented the time machine to travel through time. I know. I know, I know. to the time machine. Hilldale. Nothing but a breeding ground for tranks, lobos, and zip heads. Yeah, they ought to tear this whole place down. Welcome home, oh. Jennifer. You all right? You got a little tranked, but I think you can walk. Ma'am, oh. you should reprogram. It's dangerous to enter without lights on. Lights on? Yes. Now, look. Just take it easy, and you'll be fine. And be careful in the future. The future? Have a nice day, Mrs. McFly. Broadcasting beautiful views 24 hours a day. You're tuned to the Scenery Channel. I'm in the future. I get married in the chapel. Oh, Mom? Mom? Mom, is that you? I gotta get out of here. Mom? Mom, Mom is that you? How did you do that? How did he do that? Oh, out on the golf course. Uh, Are you folks home yet? I brought pizza for everyone. Oh, who's going to eat all that? Oh, I will. Damn this traffic. Jennifer, that is old Jennifer. Usually gets home around now. I hope we're not too late. What is it? What's the matter, Doc? For a moment, I thought I saw a taxi in my rear display. I thought it was following us. Weird. I can't believe this window is still broken. Well, when the scene screen repairman called Daddy a chicken, Daddy threw him out of the house. Now we can't get anybody to fix it. Look how worn out this is. Your father's biggest problem, Marlene, is that he loses all self-control when someone calls him chicken. How many times have we heard it, George? Mom, I can't, can't let, let him think, think I'm chicken. chicken. Mm. You're right. Well, you're right. 
About 30 years ago, your father tried to prove he wasn't chicken, and he ended up in an automobile accident. Oh, you mean with the Rolls Royce? Mm -hmm. Automobile accident. All right, Arnie. Let's find Jennifer. I don't believe it. I live in Hilldale. This is great. Way to go. Marty, stay here. Change clothes. If I need you, I'll holler. Oh, come on, Doc. I want to check on my ass. We can't risk you running into your older self. Come on, Arnie. Let's go. Where's Jen? Where's Jen? Hilldale. This is bitching. One seventy four point five zero. That'll be one seventy four fifty. Here. I'd be careful, old timer. There's a rough neighborhood. Oh, seat. Right here. Here it is. Oh, oh. 